about four weeks into the truck, and we still we still haven't find the spark plugs on it. We can't find them or the distributor. Just kidding, ha! Huh? So funny. <laughs> All right. So intake and piping is already routed. We have tested it, and it hold together, kinda. Until she started making like 15 pounds of booze and then it blew a hose. But she still counts us together. Um, we made a really nice bracket made out of uh, Coca-Cola aluminum. You know, super thin. Yeah. So, very nice cruise. It's stuck in there. It's secure in there. Uh, this, the bolts are just uh, welded. And I'm going to leave it like that because that's how I went. So we can just screw it through the front and we don't have to deal about putting a self-tapper or anything like that. And power steering has a home. I didn't have to do nothing to it uh, drastically. It's just going to stay like that. Uh, it's going to leave happy there. I had to move the hoses a little bit in that direction, but it's good. Hoses over here are good. Uh, all the routing is good. I had to have this flexible. You got to have this point of here to be flexible because if you're solid all the way up there you you end up like not having play kind of like that one I'm actually gonna get a different one on that side of the turbo I'm gonna get one like this and it's gonna help it uh, flex and take some of that stress out of the hose uh, so far so good I gotta run the EGT I already have my the tool that I use to run wires through the through the frame, um, and I gotta run that insulation. We gotta finish the rest of the piping. We cut some more of the fender on this side. I mean, it's a massive pipe. I'm gonna paint all that. It's already pretty clean, but I wanna paint that all that so it still it still is nice. Um, I crank it out in here, any rattle or anything, so she's good on the neighborhood. Um, I'll put another update real soon whenever I have another one for you guys. Thank you. All right, two Gatorades later, well, a whole case, three roasted chickens, four packs of tortillas, five bags of tamales, and we'll still at it. Um, I'm very pleased to say that I love the way that the stacked are on. This is amazing. It's way over my expectations. Uh, this whole bracket that runs right here is attached to the truck, is welded behind, and it has those 14 millimeter uh, nuts on it, or 916s. And you can literally just take the hoses out of these and take your um, latch, you can take your latch off, and you can bring this whole stack together, or you can take them individually. Uh, kind of like if it was built from factory. Everything has uh, rubber supports. Everything has a bracket. Everything has a bushing. Uh, it's just nice. I'm very, very pleased with it. And the truck sounds amazing. And all the hoses are routed properly. Zip ties. Everything is out of the way from each other. Uh, PMDs move out of the way. It still has plenty of cool airflow. And it's just very, very nice. I'm very, very pleased with it. And I love it. Uh, the hoses are all the way in there. Uh, the hose that popped on on the video clip that, that I was doing, and it was taken off, and I put a bit on it. I thought that it was not going to pop because it was in between two, but the thing has so much force, and it was just with the strap, holding with the strap, that it just pulled the inner cooler forward. Anyway, I love it. We're doing some electrical right now, checking out the, uh, the lights, and I'm going to continue doing this, and continue to like and subscribe so I get even more motivated to continue doing stuff for you guys. Thank you. Alrighty. So now we're building the exhaust. Done piping. Come on. Let's see if she can focus. There she goes. So the downpipe goes pretty well through here. And then we're tacking it. We're gonna put a flange right here and then an immediate flex joint. And then we're gonna fall straight. And then this guy over here 
cut it into a couple sections. And yes, bye.